snack for Zabu. He loves them. But I need to see a giant like a giraffe to get those. A giraffe is really tall, and that helps him eat the leaves from the tall trees. Need some help, Chris? Sure. Hop on! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Great idea, Martin! <laughs> <laughs> A giant has its advantages. A lot of good leaves up here. You feel like a giraffe? Yeah, I'm up here at giraffe height getting leaves. And I'm not alone. Zabu's here. Hey, Zabu, how are you doing up there? We're coming down. Good leaves down here, too. So, Zabu, who'd you see in the forest today? Well, you know Zabu. He never talks until he's filled his belly. I'll be right back. All right. Do you want a snack? What do you think Martin's gonna get for you? <laughs> yeah! Zabu, you want some mimosa leaves? Yeah! He loves those. Those yummy leaves, they make me do big burps. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it, Zob. <laughs> Why don't you tell us who you saw in the forest instead? Oh, uh, I saw an amazing furry creature who's coming this way. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He had a big square head with two big teeth. And then he disappeared underwater. And this creature could swim. I mean, really swim. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A giant, swimming, plant-eating creature. Do you know who he is? Okay, so he is furry, furry, furry with a stubby tail. Square head with long, long teeth. Coughs, barks, eats grass. Oh yeah, it's a capybara. Mystery on the Mars here, he's a giant like me. Can you believe that? And there's three of them. What manga seeker creatures. Wow, look at his funny walk. He's a giant who can jump. 
I can't believe my mind. <laughs> Whoa, what a jump. Great job. What do you think about this copy of bars, Abu? Wow, he's really giant. Yeah. Yeah, giant like dinosaurs are giant. <laughs> Look at this guy. Definitely one of my favorite giants. The copy bar is a giant rodent. There's none bigger. Giant rodents. I love giant rodents. What's a rodent? Okay, rodents are furry little creatures with big front teeth who love to chew. Oh, okay, so squirrels are rodents and mice are rodents. Yeah, Zob. Rodents are really great creatures, but they're mostly pretty small. Check out the difference. Now that is one giant rodent. 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 It sounds my mouth funny. Hey, Cappy, you're way bigger than a mouse. And you're bigger than me, too. But you're not a giant. Monk, Sika. Here comes one of the most giant creatures I've ever seen. It's Toothbrush. <laughs> He's a giant. Yeah, almost as big as a dinosaur. Huh? Wow, you really are big. Toothbrush is my elephant friend. African elephants are big, all right, Zob. In fact, they're the biggest land mammals in the world. And you know, when other animals like gazelles see elephants coming down to the watering hole, they usually get out of the way. Being a giant, an elephant needs to drink a lot of water, 480 glasses a day. And she picks up all that water with her amazing trunk. I wonder what else an elephant can pick up with his trunk. Maybe even Chris. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Over here, Sub. Do you think an elephant could pick me up if I grew this big? I'm the biggest crat. That makes me a giant, too. I'm a giant amongst crats. How'd he do that? Hey, Animal Junction is looking a little small. Dinosaurs! Please talk about dinosaurs! <laughs> How about those giant feet? A capybara has four toes on each front foot and three toes on each back foot. How many do you have, Zabu? Well, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, five on each hand. And my feet, too. See? One, two, three, four. Hey! Oh, there you are. <laughs> I scared myself. Oh. Hold it, capybara. Don't need that guitar. How about an apple? I guess he likes it. A capybara is an herbivore. That means he eats all kinds of things like grass, plants, fruit, and vegetables. Have you ever ate an apple with a capybara? <laughs> hmm, giant creatures must have giant bellies. So I bet they're still hungry. I better get her a snack. All right, Zob. You hungry? <laughs> I'll feed her and you can help. No, not rhinoceros. <laughs> not walrus. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not mouse. Giant mouse, maybe. <laughs> ah, here it is. Capybara. There's three capybaras. I'll hit it three times. Come and get it. Happy bears always seem to take their time, don't they? Whoa, here comes somebody in a hurry. A red kangaroo. Wow, let's go say hi. Hey, kangaroo. How do you do? Oh, oh. Uh -huh. oh he's so tall. He's as tall as my tallest jump. Red kangaroos are six feet tall. The giants of the kangaroos. What about tall dinosaurs? We're giants. Weird. I know the capybaras love grass. Then why isn't she eating it? I don't know. 
Maybe she's not hungry. Hmm? Or maybe she likes a different kind of grass. Mm. I'll go get some. <coughs> Whoa! Uh-oh. Close one. <laughs> How'd this get here? Wow, that's wet. <laughs> Martin, you're all wet. <laughs> And I think that Capybara likes the wet water. He's going in. Swimming with the Capybaras. Water's too wet for me. Too wet for me today, anyway. Come on in, Chris. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the copy bar is just as at home in the water as he is on land. I've never seen rodents that can swim like that. Copybearers will eat grass on land, but they really like to eat it in the water. They eat grass like I eat leaves, but I like mine dry. <laughs> Here he goes, underwater, let the capybaras. How can he breathe underwater? He doesn't breathe underwater, Zob. A capybara holds his breath. Capybaras have incredible nose control. They can even close their nose when they go underwater, like this. And a capybara can hold his breath for up to five minutes. Wow, look at his webbed feet. Yeah, webbing makes a creature's foot bigger, and that makes it better for paddling. Bigger feet swim better. Yahoo, capybaras! Capybaras! I love capybara-ish! I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel capybara-ish. How about you, capybara-ish? Feeling capybara-ish. Capybara-ish! I'm a water-loving giant splashing all around! You know, there are a lot of giants around here today. And here comes another giant plant eater, a camel. I mean Animal Junction. Come in, camel. The camel's happy now. <gasps> a yak. I think the camel likes me. <laughs> yeah, and a yak likes grass. He's a giant who lives on giant mountains. Wow, who's he? Hey, guys, who's the giant cat? Well, Zah, uh, the Siberian tiger is the biggest cat in the world. But there are lots of giants in the cat family. Like the leopard, the largest of the tree-climbing wildcats. Hey, and don't forget lions. A mountain lion's a big cat, too. And the white tiger is huge and really rare. Well, there's a big cat right behind you. A Siberian tiger. How did she get in here? Wow, she's such a giant. How can we miss her? <laughs> I don't know. A Siberian tiger is the giant of the cats. She reminds me of another orange giant from when I was in Zabu land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I heard somebody say, Hey, zabu ba doo, -ba -doo. Huh? <laughs> You'll never see me here. <laughs> hey, who said that? It's me, Bugly. <laughs> Hi, Bugly. Hey, want to go for a ride on the back of a giant bug? Well, yeah. I, whoa, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> whoa, yeah. I never Here knew that go. giant bugs could run so fast. Oh, yeah. That's because I have many legs, <laughs> and every one of them is a giant leg. Oh, giant bugs do everything in a big <laughs> way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. My giant legs help me run all day. <laughs> oh. Hey, but Duga 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 Bay, huh? do you want to go for a flyby to see a giant friend? Oh, yeah. Well, let's buzz off for a bug's eye view, my little leaping lemur. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. And then we flew around and around the most giant creature in Zabu Land. Whoa. She's the biggest giant of them all. Mama, Mama Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Bugly. <laughs> I'm a dinosaur. The end. <laughs>
Bye bye, giants. Come back anytime. See you later, capybaras. Bye. Giants are always welcome at Animal Junction. Whoa, incoming! Duck! Woo. Wow. If he's a duck, he's the biggest duck I've ever seen. <laughs> he's not a duck, Zabu. He's a golden eagle. And he's a really fast bird. Yeah, golden eagles can fly as fast as 200 miles per hour. 200 miles per hour? How fast is that? That's fast. As fast as a race car. A race car? Hey. Wow. Message from Jackie. What is a race car? The animal helpers and I thought, what's the best way to make a giant tree? By planting a small tree. So we planted a tree in my backyard. And someday this little tree will grow into a big tree like that tree. And a big tree is a home to squirrels, raccoons, and birds. But this tree's got lots of growing to do first. Hey guys, do all giants start off small? Or are some giants born giants? That's a good question. What babies are big? Moose! Do you want to take a trip? They're Let's going go. to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. All right, Zob, this one's for you. Hmm? Ready, Martin? They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, up. We'll be back soon. Bye, guys. Tiger's gonna teach me how to growl. <laughs> Kayaking is a great way to find a certain kind of giant. The biggest of all the deer, the moose. Moose love the water. They even have wide feet to help them swim. So keep your eyes peeled for a big furry blob grazing in the water. Let's go! And a hungry one, too. Moose love to eat water plants. They stick their faces underwater and grab plants with their big lips. Chris, let's try it. You're on, bro! I think I'll leave that way of eating to the moose. Yeah, I think you'd be hungry most of the time. I know. But moose lips are great for grabbing as many water plants as that giant deer needs. Moose lips are so strong, they can clean all the leaves off a branch in one swipe. Like this. Ow! <laughs> you need moose lips. With one swipe of the head, moose lips can clean the leaves off a branch. getting in on the eating action, too. Eating the right kind of leaves is an important thing for a moose calf to learn. Leaves like maple, ash, and birch are all good for a moose. It'll take a lot of eating the right kind of leaves to turn this little calf into a big moose, a giant among deer. Hey, Chris, there's another giant we weren't even looking for. Giant mosquito! It's time to get out of here to the kayaks! Animal Junction. Rawr. Something's Rawr. going on here. there. Do you want to find out what? Come on. Rawr. The Siberian tiger. Martin, Chris, the tiger and me are roaring. You want to hear? Yeah, sure thing, Zob. You want to make tiger sounds too? <clears throat> Rawr. Yeah.
Great one, Zabu. True tiger potential. Roar about dinosaurs, please. I like tiger sounds like I like tiger pouncing. And this tiger likes pouncing on balls. So, which do you think a tiger likes playing better? Soccer or basketball? Let's find out. Soccer! <laughs> she likes soccer! <laughs> I'll call you Popper. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's it for the soccer ball. What else we got? Let's see. Hmm, how about a basketball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Zabu. <laughs> nice shot. Thanks. Uh-oh. She popped another one. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> oh, what are we gonna do now? I got a ball. I hope Popper doesn't pop this one. Here, Popper. Oh. <sighs> Popper popped our last ball. That was her last ball. Now the tigers pounced on and popped all the balls at Hannibal Junction. <laughs> oh. Wow, she's got giant teeth like dinosaurs. Yes, huh? <laughs> and one dinosaur who had really giant teeth was T Rex. And Triceratops had a giant head plate and horns for protection against the giant teeth of T Rex. And we can't forget about the duck-billed dinosaurs, who had giant bills on their faces. And of course, there was Ankylosaurus. He had a giant club tail that he probably used to scare off enemies. Long ago, the world was filled with giants. Yay, dinosaurs! Thank you, thank you, thank you! That reminds me of more dinosaurs I saw in Zabu Land. I was leaping <laughs> along. Leap. Leap, leap. And the ground shook. Huh, I jumped into a tree to see what was going on. It was my giant friend, Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Zabu. She said, I have a joke for you. Want to hear it? OK, I'm ready. Do you know why dinosaurs are extinct? Hmm. No, why are dinosaurs extinct? Oh, it's because our eggs stink. Well, Zabumafuasaurus <laughs> thought this was so funny, she started to laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh. She laughed so hard, she started to shake, and I slipped off her head and slid all the way down her back. Whee! <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah, again. And we did. Again and again and again. And we had so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like sliding down the back of a giant friend. Again, Zabumafuasaurus. Whoa! <laughs> the end. <laughs> That's my mom. Playing with giants is great. You're right, Zab. I love giant creatures, like tigers. Giants, giants rule! rule. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. Yeah! What's up, Zop? Still feeling capybarish? Actually, I was wondering, do you maybe have some yummy leaves? They'd be a nice goodbye snack. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> uh. 
This looks like a job for... Oh, my... A giant wow. crab! How do you do that? Thanks, bro. How's the weather up there? Fantastic. Here you go, Zob. Ah, leaves. Green is a yummy color. <laughs> Excuse me. Bye, Crad Brothers. See you later, Zabu. Happy jumping. What now, Chris? Hmm. Hey, I bet there are some giants in the mountains that we can see before sundown. Let's get going. We'll see you later. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Giants, here we come. Hi, I'm Hannah. This is my cat named Zabu. <laughs>